Hi, my name is Galen George and I'm an application scientist here at CID Bioscience. Today, I want to demonstrate to you how to utilize the built-in indices on the new SpectraView leaf spectrometer. When you power on the SpectraView, you'll see that there is a split screen and it's blank. There is a top half that is a spectrograph and there's a bottom half where it says, please add a calculation by pressing the calculations button. The calculations button is denoted on the bottom right here with a calculator. So when you click that, it'll take you to this blank calculation screen. Once you're at the calculation screen, what you'll want to do is you'll want to click the plus button to add a new calculation. Here you'll see on the screen that there is a drop down menu that says custom and the header for that is template and we'll click on that. So with this drop down menu, what we're going to see is a bunch of different built in indices that are already ready to go preloaded on the instrument. Right at the top, we can see anthocyanin and reflectance index one, anthocyanin and reflectance index two, the carotenoid reflectance index one and two. And then if you scroll on the touch screen, you can see that there's plenty more built in indices here, all the way down to the photochemical reflectance index and the plant senescence reflectance index. So let's choose one for an example and load it. So we'll start with anthocyanin reflectance index one. When I click it to select it, you'll see that the screen here changes and the title now is reading ARI1, which stands for anthocyanin reflectance index one. The description down here says what it is, which is just the title of the index itself, the anthocyanin reflectance index one. And in the notes here, it'll tell you uh, something about the index. Usually it'll give you something like the typical values you might see, um, or even the, or the paper that we actually pulled the index from. And then over here, which is an, another important part of it, is the equation. And the equation is showing you that this is how the actual index is being calculated. Um, and so this index in particular is the inverse of the reflectance at 550 nanometers minus the inverse of the reflectance at 700 nanometers. And then you'll see two other options here uh, for this uh, index, and that's to look at or to change the bar color. Uh, and the bar color is going to be the color of the bar on the graph on the bottom of the home screen. This brings up a color wheel. You can customize it to whatever color you want. It's anthocyanin, so I'm gonna go ahead and change it here to be red-ish, dark red. And then we can also change the title color. Uh, and so that actually just changes uh, the text on the bottom that says ARI1. Um, we'll change that, we can change that from uh, black to you know whatever color we want. I'll just change it to match uh, the actual index here. So once you have all that done, what you can do is actually go and save your index by clicking the save button, which is at the top corner right here. And then you'll see that this index is ready to go, ready to be used because there is a color bar next to it. Um, that means that it's loaded and ready to be used. Now, if I wanted to delete this measurement, I could simply click it and swipe to the left to delete, which brings up the options to edit or edit or delete. Um, and then I can also just simply click it and that will deselect it, which means that it won't be loaded, ready to go, and it won't give out any sort of reading when you go to take your measurement. Um, this is actually convenient for if you wanted to have all of these preloaded, a bunch of indices preloaded, and then you wanted to select which ones actually were shown on the screen, but you at the same time wanted them all to give a result uh, when you go to export your data. Um, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and reselect this anthocyanin reflectance index one. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more indices here. And we'll go ahead and take some sample measurements and view how the data is actually output on the home screen. Um, so what we're going to do is now that these calculations are loaded, what I'm going to do is measure three different leaves of varying states of stress and look and see how you'll actually see differences in the uh, indices um, based on the actual stress state of the plant. And so I'm going to start with a healthy green leaf. I'm going to simply put it in the scan window, click the measurement button and allow it to take a measurement. So that's our healthy leaf. And then a more yellowed leaf. Second. And then lastly, we'll end it with a mostly dead leaf. All right. 
So now that we've taken three discrete measurements with the spectra view, we can see those three measurements represented by these different color lines on the actual spectrograph above. And those lines and those colors actually correlate to that measurement down here in the bar charts that are the index values. And so if we look at anthocyanin and reflectance index one, our first index, we can see that in the healthy green leaf, the AR1 value was actually the lowest, and in the dead and dying leaf, it was the highest. As well as looking at the NDVI, the NDVI was highest in the green leaf and lower in the both the dying and the unhealthy leaf. So from here, you can continue to take measurements, and those will be represented by new lines in the spectrograph or new bars under the index values here. You can also export this data for further analysis. For more information on the SpectraView Leaf Spectrometer, please visit www.cid-inc.com.